Uh, <clears throat> Darren, congratulations on, on being selected to the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, you're welcome. You're welcome. How do you uh, – they say you can play inside and outside, and I saw, saw the pick against Colorado. Uh, you know, how do you read offenses and, and what allowed you to make, you know, those instinctual plays like that over your career there for the Aztecs? I'm just trusting in my instincts, like you said, and um, playing in the play, knowing the play. Um, I feel like once you know the playbook and you know the schemes uh, that your team is running, you can play a lot faster. So that just gives you the opportunity to to focus in on the opposing teams, like uh, plays and what they like to run. So just get, just having the playbook down, so down packed, uh, gave me a chance to focus in on what the offense likes to do and just being able to react. And uh, did you watch DeMonte Casey, former Aztec, when he was playing here for the Falcons? And uh, can you hit like he, he used to hit? I'm Darren Hall. I love DeMonte. Um, <laughs> it would have been very cool to play with him if he was still there. However, uh, you know, I know how the league is. However, I'm, I'm a player. You'll see. You see the tape. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Jeff Schultz? Yeah, Darren, following that up and being out there in beautiful San Diego, um, I I know it well. How, how closely do, do you even did you even follow the Falcons, really? And, I mean, the fact that you're coming to a team that is rebuilding, particularly on the defensive side of the ball, as a player, you know, what's your approach in that situation? I'm just going in there and working hard every day to become a starter. Um, I feel like I can contribute, and I feel like they also do. That's why they drafted me, however um, – just going in and doing everything I can from the day one to go out there and be the best version of me and help the team win. Uh, rebuilding or not, I feel like this is a great organization organization to be a part of. And I just can't wait to get out there uh, and get to work. And, and I'm just curious, did you have any feel at all for where you might go in the draft? I mean, if you Google your name online, you're going to see your name everywhere. You know, fifth round, yeah. sixth round, seventh round, not draft or whatever. As a player, did you have any, any certain thoughts where you might go? Yeah, I did. Um, either very late yesterday or early this morning, like it was, right in the range of where I thought I was gonna go. And um, I just know the situation that I'm in is a situation I'm supposed to be in, so I'm blessed. Michael Rothstein. Yeah. Hey, Darren. I'm I'm kind of curious. Did do you have any conversations ever with John Hoke because you're going from Hoke, you're playing going from one brother to the other? <laughs> Yeah, um, I've had multiple conversations with uh, Big Hope. Uh, he likes to joke around and say, uh, he'll speak, he told me right now before when I got off the phone with him was, I hope that his coaching, we can fix the errors in his coaching. So they have a real good relationship. Um, but Hope to Hope, I, I, I know their coaching style is pretty similar, so I'll fit in. Uh, I have a good time with Big Hope. So. Did you get a sense at all that that, that helped maybe with – the Falcons making this pick because of that familiarity with, with John and Brady? Possibly. Um, I know that Brady will only have good things to say about me, and that probably helped. I know you have to be a good player on the field, so however, I feel like that may have helped. It may not have helped. However, it's, that's just how the tables turn, so I'll be, I'm happy to be a Falcon. Charles Odom? I uh, believe you played safety corner and nickel in the senior bowl. Do you think that helped your draft status? And 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 uh, how do you think the Falcons view you? Most definitely. Um, I'm not really sure what I would play safety, nickel, corner when I get out there. However, I'm willing to play either of the three. I'm ready to just go out there and work. Uh, that most definitely helped my draft status, though, I feel like, just seeing that I have the versatility that I know I had, but teams may not have seen because I only played outside corner. And a little bit of uh, safety my freshman year. So just going out there and performing real well for sure helped my draft stock. I'm not sure how that works uh, for you guys, for you uh, at that, the senior bowl, but was that something that you raised your hand that you wanted to do? Um, so when I first got there, I was a, I was told that I was going to play some safety by my agent. I said, I really don't care. I'm a DB, so I'll play safety, corner, whatever they want me to do. And as the week gone on, some guys were going down. So I was just learning all three positions. And then they just threw me in a nickel, like, because some guys were down and uh, needed, needed to fill in the spot. So, just playing football. Jason Butt. Hey, Darren. Uh, congratulations. Um, what would you say your, your best attribute is as a defensive back? Uh, being versatile and being able to cover. I feel like uh, I'm very technical in my 
and how I play DB. So just being able to cover whoever's in front of me, tight ends, receivers, running backs, I feel like I do a great job covering. You know, one of the things I, you know, just doing the, the quick research on you, um, press man is an area of strength. How would you assess yourself in that? And, of course, with the NFL, you, know, you need good corners out there. Um, how, how does that translate to this next level, you think? Um, I feel like it translates very well. I feel like my trainers that I've been training with have set me up in a good position just to have a, a foundation on what to do, a line of scrimmage and how to work it. So, just honing on my techniques and making sure I get better every day in the league where receivers are fast or crappy, they're better than they are in college. So just getting better as they get better and just knowing what I knowing and doing what I know what to do. So I'll be ready. Kelsey Conway. Hey, Darren, um, the 2019 season, you, I think tied, um, the FBS for, uh, most pass breakups. Uh, what do you think was the biggest, um, source of, that being how well you played that year? Um, I feel like just getting more comfortable in the defense. I feel like as you just continue to play and have time to learn the defense and get feel trust the people around you, you could just go out there and play a lot faster than uh, people are like accustomed to. So just trusting the defense, trusting the play calls and reading my keys and seeing things and just reacting. Um, not really second guessing things. Sometimes you have as a DB to make a good play, you have to uh, you might have to just take that risk. So I was doing that and making plays. As someone who seems like they like to make a lot of plays on the ball, how would you describe your mentality when you're back there in the secondary? Oh, fearless. Um, there's gonna be times where uh, I'm playing, well, I was playing against Division One athletes, people on scholarships. So there's gonna be times where you may get beat, they, they may catch a ball. However, just have a short memory. Um, Things happen, but go out there and make a play. If you give them a play, just go out there and make a play. And that's what I live by. Justin Felder? Hey, man. Uh, congratulations. Uh, one more question on uh, DeMonte Casey. I read an article where Coach Long said he thought you asked for the number 23 because that's what Casey wore. Is that? No? Okay. Well, so what's the story? Boy, I'm going to tell you the story. I get there, and I was already getting comparisons to DeMonte. And just the person that I am, I knew DeMonte was a great player. However, I wanted to create my own legacy at San Diego State. So I'll, I, before I got there, I said, <clears throat> I said, I do not want 23. I, I, I do not want it. Um, I got there uh, second day, whenever you get out of lockers, and I'm at number 23. So I said, okay. I mean, they give it to me. I'm going to go ahead and just continue the legacy that he had and do the best that I can in this number. And that's what I did. Thanks for clearing it up. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> yeah. Dila, do you have any follow-ups? Um, was just trying to get a 40 time on, on you, uh, Darren. What's your fastest 40? If you got your three-cone time, that'd be great, too. 4-4-1, four, four, I think it was, like, low sevens. I can't remember the exact time. Okay. <laughs>